everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald here. You may remember that I have some sheep on my farm. The sheep say ba ba here and ba ba there. Up the road on my neighbor's farm, you can hear ba ba everywhere because she has a large flock of sheep. Flock means a group of animals. That's right, flock. Birds aren't the only animals that travel in flocks. Sheep do as well. By the way, you might have noticed something a little unusual about the word sheep. You can have one cow or a herd of cows. You can have one pig or a herd of pigs. You can have one chicken or a flock of chickens. However, you can have one sheep or a flock of sheep. Did you notice? You do not need to add the s sound to the end of the word sheep if you have more than one sheep. In other words, you would not say that my neighbor has a flock of sheeps. We say she has a flock of sheep. A female sheep is called a ewe, not to be confused with the word ewe, y o u, as in the sentence "you are in kindergarten." The word "you," as in "you," not me, and the word "you," e w e, a female sheep, sound the same but are spelled differently, and they mean totally different things. A male sheep is called a ram. As with most other farm animals, farmers do not keep many males in the flock. My neighbor has one or two rams, and the rest of her flock is female. Baby sheep are called lambs. The ewe often has twin lambs. When lambs are young, they feed on their mother's milk. Sometimes the ewe may not have enough milk for two lambs. So the farmer may need to feed one of the lambs milk from a bottle. By now, you've learned that farmers raise animals for milk, eggs, and meat. Sheep are mammals like cows and pigs because they give birth to live young, and they make milk to feed their babies. Some farmers raise sheep for milk, which they use to make cheese, and some people raise sheep for meat. Most farmers, however, raise sheep because of the wool that grows on their bodies. Wool is a very important material to people. Sheep's wool can be turned into yarn and woven into warm clothing or blankets. Can you see the person who is wearing a wool sweater in this picture? They both are. Sheep lead pretty simple lives. They spend most of their time out in the field grazing. The farmer lets them out to graze every morning and leads them back to the safety of the pen at night. A pen is a small fenced area for animals. Sheep generally stay with the flock, where there's safety in numbers. Sheep do not have to worry about small animals like raccoons or skunks sneaking up and eating them. However, unlike cattle and pigs. Sheep are not very large, and they are certainly not fast. So sheep farmers have to protect their sheep from coyotes and wolves or other large predators. Predators are other animals that eat animals, including sheep. Every now and then, a sheep does stray from the flock, usually in search of some tastier grass. Stray means to wander away. Sheep are valuable farm animals. They are worth a lot of money, so the farmer cannot afford to let them wander off. My neighbor hires a shepherd to help watch over her flock. The shepherd's job is to lead the sheep out to pasture and watch over them to make sure they do not wander off or get eaten by other animals. The shepherd's job brings certain responsibilities. Responsibilities are tasks or jobs a person has. The shepherd must stay alert and beware of predators. If a sheep starts to wander, the shepherd can catch the sheep with its crook, a large wooden stick with a hook on the end, to lead it back to the flock. Shepherds sometimes need help caring for large flocks. Dogs can be trained to help care for the sheep. Dogs who work with sheep are called sheep dogs. 
Sheep dogs run after sheep that try to wander away and chase them back to the flock. Sheep dogs are also important for chasing away predators. The sheep eat grass and grow thick coats of fuzzy wool all year round. After the sheep have had time to grow long, shaggy coats of wool, the farmer gets out her shearing clippers. Shearing clippers are like the electric razors a barber uses to cut hair. The farmer uses the shearing clippers to cut the wool off all the sheep in her flock. She does this in the springtime when warm weather is coming and the sheep no longer need a thick coat of wool. By the time the winter comes around again, the sheep will have grown new wool to keep them warm during the cold weather. The farmer knows how to cut off the wool in a way that does not hurt the animals. The wool that she cuts off is called the fleece. When the farmer shears a sheep, the main part of the fleece can come off in one big piece. Sometimes when she's shearing the sheep, the farmer sings an old nursery rhyme you might remember from when you read nursery rhymes and fables. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane.